What is going on YouTube? This is Nick with Hilltop TCG back with another video and today guys we're going to take a look at the new booster bundle boxes from Temporal Forces. Let's go! What is going on Hilltop TCG family? Guys, that's right. Today we have the new looking booster bundle boxes from Temporal Forces, you guys. I am hyped up on this. I mean, new design, new everything. Booster bundle boxes are hands down, I think, my new favorite product of all. And we have six of these boxes today, guys, because why? We got to rip 36 packs or a booster box worth of this product, you guys. So let's take a look at the market real quick on these bad boys. So keep in mind as well as we're looking at this market right here at this picture, so this is the old, um, I guess, or I guess there's two versions of the booster bundle box. And we're going to talk about why they're doing different things, or at least why I think they're doing a different version here soon. But there's two versions. I've only seen the new version, but um, there's obviously the old version as well if they're utilizing the pitcher. So these bad boys are supposed to be like 2751 or something like that and some change. Um, right now you can pick one up for 2346. So that's a great, great deal. Um, these historically have the best hit ratios and more often than not these go for msrp or more so as you can see i mean the price started out at above msrp and it's gone down and the only reason for that is it's a little bit before release at the time of this recording and everybody is nickel and diamond each other as always on tcg player you see a difference of one cent there three cents up to 25 cents difference there and i mean just so on but I mean, everybody's kind of racing to the bottom just to move the product. I don't think it's a race to move these. These are very desirable products. So I don't get why there's this big jump down here from 26.94 to 23. I guess right there they had the shipping cost. So this cool stuff didn't realize that they had a shipping difference right here. So now all of a sudden the market price is 23.75. So take advantage of those lower prices because I think these will go up in value like all the booster bundle boxes do. Um, but enough of that, you guys. Let's take a look at these beautiful boxes right here. So these are much bigger. Um, I was looking around. I don't have any build a battles or booster bundles lying around the house. But I mean, this is probably double the size of what booster bundles used to be. So again, we have six of these today, guys. We'll move them off screen real quick and we'll highlight the one box. So I mean, right here, I do love the styling. They have the little pull tabs here for like... Um, game stores and probably big box retailers to put these on shelves so this little plastic thing will bend up even though it's a pain in the butt and then you can put it on a little hanger rack so that's kind of cool that they provide that to all the game stores but I mean there's the back for it if you want to pause it on there basically same old you get six booster box six booster packs it's a mini booster box so again guys we're ripping six of these today 36 packs because we want to understand how those ratios are you guys we want to see if they're better or worse than a booster box so that is what we're doing today as well as you know just highlighting the new product and new styling so right there i mean this gives me if you guys ever rip sports cards blaster boxes mega boxes from retail stores this gives me that vibe of um blaster boxes look at that we got a lot of a lot of air, a lot of cardboard, a lot of loose space. So I like how they did this so the packs don't jingle around too much. But um, a lot of air, a lot of extra cardboard, which I think Pokemon is trying to slim down on. But apparently on this product, they wanted to do a little bit extra. And there's a little, there's a little like casing, which I don't get why they did that either. I mean, I guess to hold that in, but I don't know. And maybe it's easier to package it. Um, but interesting interesting there. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the new styling versus the old styling But there you go guys one two three four five and six packs easy as that So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these other five boxes open and then we're gonna do that massive 36 pack rip All right guys. I got all six booster bundle boxes open We have six stacks because I want to understand you know on average obviously we can do a division thing but i want to understand how the ratios work out to be out of each individual box right here guys so hopefully you guys can see both those my face might be covering the six stack but you know what right there we're gonna have a ton of hits guys so before i get in this first pack though guys don't forget to like this video smash that subscribe button click the little bell to get notified each time we do post a video guys all that goes such a long way and means a bunch so please go do it all right guys first pack in on average you should see around 12 to up to 15 hits out of a booster box guys 12 to 15 hits out of a booster box um 
So we're gonna see if we can beat that today. On average, I mean, you guys have probably seen my thousand pack rip already um, video. So you should see probably two to three full arts, two to three um, illustr or just illustration rare. So you're not guaranteed an SIR, but two to three um, IRs, and then two or one or two um, A specs, and then the rest of these base level EXs. So we're gonna see also does the ratio of similar to a booster box on like the full arts, A specs, IRs um, equal out as well. So Iron Valiant right there. So that's the things that we're gonna test out today, you guys. If you guys like that, again, remember to make sure you're subscribed. We're doing some giveaways right now, giving away ETBs, giving away booster boxes. So make sure you check out those previous um, Temporal Forces videos. Yeah, all you gotta do is be subscribed to get into those entries. So make sure you check out those videos and participate. So, wow, first booster bundle box was not what I was expecting. We got a Raikou to show for it, or the Raging Bolt. Onto our second booster bundle box. Again, you're not gonna get crazy hits in every single one, but the ones that I've opened so far have been pretty juiced. So again, it's all luck of the grab too. I mean, it's like grabbing a booster box off a shelf or grabbing booster packs, right? If I grabbed the six worst ones out of the case, um, then everybody else is gonna be happy and the ratios are gonna be a little off. But at grabbing six of them should usually equate out to be pretty pretty on point because Pokemon's pretty solid with their um, ratios averaging out over each product. So we'll see here. I guarantee we're going to have a few crazy boxes, at least hopefully. Skullvillian right there. We got the Lidden IR and then the Skullvillian. So we'll take that out of the second box. We still have two packs left. I mean, guys, there's always, there seems to be some hesitation. There seems to be some hesitation around all of the new Scarlet and Violet products coming out. There's tons of playable cards in this one. Ooh, we got the Master Ball A-Spec. We take a A-Spec already. Let's go. Um, seems to be a decent amount of hesitation on each set, which is kind of surprising to me. Um, but I think Pokemon's doing pretty good with incorporating the playable cards um, with great artwork. So I think... I think there's a level of hesitation just because the product pricing is so much more expensive now for Pokemon. They've raised all their prices. People aren't as willing to um, buy. I think the popularity of the sets um, from a collector standpoint isn't as crazy as it used to be. I think it's more playability focused for a moment. I mean, the artwork is incredible, but um, I don't know. I think there's a lot of, a lot of the collectors are OG Gen 1, Gen 2 collector. So all these new dynamics and things like that. Um, from the collector standpoint, let's go. The Bianca's Devotion SIR. That is incredible, you guys. Let's go. This is shaping out to be a great rip. And on point with what a booster box should have so far. Wow. There we go, guys. That is absolutely crazy. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I, I personally love it. I mean, we've streamed a ton of this already and people kind of have the same consensus in the chat that, um, as they're watching the rip, let's go the gouging fire EX or the Entei, um, that they're like, oh my gosh, I have to collect this now. But there's a little bit of a hesitation and reservation until they really see all the dope hits that are inside these. So, um, a bunch of fighting types right there, even a fighting energy. So wow, our first booster bundle was a little a little mid, but the last two have had three hits and absolutely incredible hits in those three. So let's see if we can keep that roll up. Again, we want to see around 12 to 15 hits um, out of 36 packs. So we want to see around three full arts, um, two to three illustration rares, and are probably around one to two A specs to meet that booster box average. But we'd love to spike a better hit ratio than a typical booster box so we will see 36 packs go quick with nick Rippin. i'll tell you what when i'm hey there we go we got the relicanth ir so that's what two ir so we're i mean we're right on point we have two full arts we have an a spec we have two irs and we still have 12 packs left after this one so 
we are looking in great shape to meet the average but again i want to beat i want to beat the booster box average usually a booster box always wins um just because of the pure value standpoint right right now right now ooh, the metagross let's go right now i mean you can go pick up a booster box for i didn't talk about really the price comparison but you can pick up a booster box for i think around 108 dollars 108 dollars on tcg player right now 105 108 bucks i mean that's shipped right so i mean you saw right there you had around 24 bucks for a booster bundle box if we round up to 25 dollars to make math easy for me um that's 150 bucks you're spending 150 bucks to get these bad boys at 25 dollars a piece to get six of them right so right there you want to have way more hits than a typical booster box because it's just more financially smart or makes more sense to buy the 105 dollars box but if you know you're going to get 20 freaking hits or three sirs out of the rip then i mean freaking yeah, let's go buy booster bundle boxes at $150 a piece. I mean, $24 is absolutely incredible. Like, $24 bucks for these is crazy. I, I do think they will go up in value. Um, just because the hits usually are so good. And it's affordable for people. People like to pay, you know, $27 for six packs or even $24 for six packs. Because um, booster boxes, you know, paying over $100 for a booster box is still expensive for a lot of people so this is a much more affordable option for the community out there all right so we have some great hits so far we're on to our last booster bundle um this one's going to either make or break define the odds right now i mean i think we're we beat the ir average um we have what four illustration rares and that's not typical out of a booster box we have zero hits out of this last booster bundle can we get at least some type of hit there we go the walking wake ex we'll take a base level ex all right two packs left guys two packs left we have an sir we got the bianca's devotion i mean you can't complain and then we got the sawbuck ir so we're getting tons tons of irs out of these which is great irs are going to hold a ton of value in this set let's see if we can have some last pack magic here and nothing in that one. All right, so let's talk about numbers right now. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hits. So right on point with the higher end of a booster box, right? We got an SIR, we got an Explorer's Guidance Full Art, and then the Gouging Fire Full Art. So our Full Arts are right on point. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 IRs, and then a Master Ball. So the card you don't want to see is the base level EXs. I mean, that's just not going to have the value, right? So we got the Walking Wake, the Giraffe, Crydon, and then the Raging Bolt. So our um, base level EXs are lower. So that's actually really great, great, great ratios out of these. I mean, on average, we had, what, 14 out of 6, so slightly above um, 2 hits on average per booster bundle box, and there's only 6 packs in there. That's great odds per booster bundle. We only had one with one hit everything else had two or more um so wow right there would i go spend 150 dollars for 36 packs worth probably not because i mean there's still only 14 hits more irs but still the booster box i think takes the dub on this but i mean these are great to pick up on shelves because i think your chance for an sir is much much higher just saying just saying i think that is the case but there you go, guys. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. Have a great night, weekend, whatever is for you. Peace.